Well, good morning, humanity. It is October 18th, 2021, and it's our, it is our favorite time of the week because it's Mondays with Bev and Paul. Yay! <laughs> Party time. Uh, morning, Bev. Good morning, Paul. Bev's with us in the studio. Woohoo! Yeah, that was a great show you did with Marisa last week. It was wonderful. Oh, hey, by the way, we wanted to put out there, because we're talking about the magic of BioTouch. No kidding. Uh, about uh, two minutes before the show, her throat locked up. She's like, oh, my. <laughs> and I'm like, okay, before, okay, real quick, let me do BioTouch. And I did, I did the greeting, and then I did some work on her throat. And she says to me, oh, I meant to say something about that. I'm like... Yeah, we were caught up in the magic. There, there you go. Went. That was magical. And yeah. uh, we're going to talk about whether or not that was a placebo. I know. Placebo or not, that is the question. <laughs> 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 but uh, first, I was reminded that we had, uh, last night, was the six-year anniversary <sighs> of this amazing party that we had to launch the book. And uh, Deborah Schildhouse, who wrote uh, BioTouch Healing with the Power in Our Fingertips, Your Fingertips. Yep. And um, here's the party. There's, there's all these pictures we had. There's Deborah and Paul signing books. Look at all those people. It was wonderful. I mean, you know, people came with their hats and their fancy clothes. I and know. There it was. It was a launch gala, and uh, it was just amazing fun. Gosh, people brought their books, they brought their kids. There was dancing. Wait till we see where the food. I mean, the tables were designed Gorgeous. perfectly. Yeah. I mean, look at this whole thing. I know. Some, oh, who are those three? Oh, wow. <laughs> hmm. so, oh, them. there they are dancing. You know? <laughs> uh, we had a, a huge contribution list of people to help pay for this thing. We did BioTouch there, uh, and the drinks were flowing. The food was flowing. It was. It, it, it was, was a great night. It yeah. really was. It was a perfect launch for our book. It yep. was. Carol, who wrote the uh, afterword for yep. the book. So, uh, happy anniversary, Deborah. BioTouch Healing with the Power in Our Fingertips. And uh, it just was uh, fun then. It's fun now. You can still get the book uh, right at justtouch.com, or you can get it on Amazon. You can get it on your Kindle now. So. It's Go for it. It's accessible, just like it is accessible. itself. It is accessible. So we yep. want to talk about the placebo. <laughs> is getting BioTouch really a placebo effect? And so we were reminded by one of our uh, recipients, oh, yeah, that is an interesting question. We've talked about this before. But yep. there is at the university, Harvard University uh, a whole department on placebo. And there is a, uh, a Kapchuk is his name who sort of runs the program. He goes, my work is taking the placebo out of the closet, taking it out of the marginalized. Uh, he hopes to do away with the saying, oh, it's only placebo, and start reinforcing the belief that, no, there's something here, and you don't have to be dishonest. Ooh. So they're doing research with whether or not the mind is really involved in healing. <laughs> Here we go. I know that's <laughs> that's a really interesting. Well, it's interesting for us when we talk about BioTouch for sure, you know, um, because we have said repeatedly that when you're in a session, the associate and the recipient, all that's going on is touch. So we we you know, typical of us, we don't go in those places anyway. We just know that something's going to happen. We do know with BioTouch, something happens. But we don't talk about where that comes from or why that's happening. Isn't that just refreshing? Yeah, it is. You know? And uh, in this placebo thing, what he talked about was how you could give someone a, a sugar pill. And if they believed in the doctor, they would start to get better. So they're trying to show how does the mind or the thought play in healing work? And is it really a viable thing? Because then it actually changes the dynamics of these medications. Oh. If there's a placebo in there too, and people are getting better. So, you know, how, how does BioTouch relate to that? Is BioTouch just a placebo? Well, first of all, you know, there's this ancient thought, pardon the expression, 
that there is a mind-body connection that what we think will manifest. So it's like this genie in a lamp. It's like, <laughs> you know, the whole thing. The mind is very nebulous and very um, objective. And how you use it in, uh, in what we call what you think, um, you know, this, this old thing, you are what you think. Right. Having become what you <laughs> thought. Well, I mean, okay. Um, but I keep coming back to uh, our thinking that with BioTouch, well, you know what? We know that Dr. Uh, we had Abilene, him. Yeah, yeah. I mean, his expression of what he said uh, about the innate show. wisdom of the body. Well, wisdom is a higher form of understanding, right? So it's the body, and that's I think that's what we hold more than anything. When we start getting into, well, if you think this and you think that, then you then this is going to happen or that's going to happen. Well, we're not saying that's true or untrue. We're just trying to say that. Um, something happens with BioTouch, right. wherever that comes from. So I think part of that goes to the history. You're talking about the ancient wisdom. And and here, some pictures of ancient times where they were using two fingers. I mean, this picture up on top where this guy is <laughs> touching another guy or whatever. Yeah. With those exact two fingers in the exact place that we do the greeting. Well, you know, there's I, something there. Yes. Because this is an ancient... Um, a symbol. I mean, look, that's all. That's all. And, right. and we have that wonderful picture of Gabriel with his two fingers reaching out to Mary in that picture. Remember? Right. Yes. A messenger communication, which is what those two fingers are. It's a communication system that ignites the wisdom of, in the body that's already in the body. So that's one thing is maybe doesn't make it placebo. It's been going on for tens of thousands of years. Yeah. Those, uh, when I went to Egypt, uh, Hakim told me, you know, this technique has been around for tens of thousands of years. It was an ancient healing tradition in, in the Egyptian, uh, and he showed me different kinds of things. Uh, that one picture here with the, uh, whoops, that's, <laughs> that's, that's a great one too. Yeah, this is a great, here's a, so is it placebo? Here it is, Dr. Larry's empty <laughs> bottle. <laughs> Cure is all. Dose as much as you Cure want it. until symptoms abate. <laughs> There's zero ounces in this bottle. I love it. I love it. Fill it up <laughs> with whatever. You know, so uh, that little green uh, two fingers there, that's a pendant they used to wear around their neck. And it used those two fingers would fall point right down. at point one Isn't down. That's yes. just crazy. So, you know, so this kind of healing <sighs> into the body, you know, has happened for countless uh thousands of years and then another part of why this may not be placebo and even if there is you know the question is do you feel better <laughs> you know yeah. are you taking less medication has your back pain gone away um, but the research is what's interesting because even uh, over here at Harvard they've done a lot of work but they, they don't have a lot of uh, numbers of people in their research projects right, yet. Right. Well, our research had over a thousand participants. That's a lot of people. And in those thousands of answers, they kept getting the same thing. Less pain, less stress, feeling more relaxed, feeling more cared energy, for. Yeah, feeling cared yeah. for. And by the way, that research, that initial one, took place in four different places. Yes, four different places. Not the same, not a thousand people just sitting in one place. Right. Four places. Everywhere from Texas to California to Hawaii, Hawaii and uh, even at a drug rehab community. And we kept getting the same thing. Right. And also we did uh, saliva testing and blood spot testing, hormonal testing with Dr. Stevenson. And she did also this questionnaire called an SF36 where she would, they asked hundreds of questions, and wow. then they did it after doing the touch, and she found eight domains, there's four emotional and four physical, had all improved, and even after not getting touch, her theory was because she thought it was a lot of placebo, right. is the emotional ones would probably stay a little elevated, but the physical ones would go down to baseline. Right. 
It was just the opposite. Just the opposite. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, and she really found there was something happening physiologically of which then she created, um, let's show it here first, uh, the, the stress chart. You know, all these stressors in our life, and she found BioTouch actually was increasing interleukin-12 levels and improving our circadian pattern of cortisol release. So that's about healthy aging and, and improving our immune system responses. Well, you know, I have, you know, you have to kind of look at that and say at that point, like he said, the, the innate wisdom of the body begins to op come into operation. Because it doesn't matter, we know it doesn't matter what belief system you have or what you're thinking in the moment. That communication system of those two fingers touching lightly on the skin, um, you know, Dr. Lipton has said in his research, that tells, it begins to tell the body and give the body a different story to tell. And the one key to retell a story in the body is called love. Yeah. So, you know, what do you, uh, placebo? I don't think so. You know, I gave, uh, I, I was gone last week because I was indulging myself in Hawaii. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> but we did give a presentation to a group of uh, women who were becoming doulas, doulas out there in Hawaii. And they were right in the same place I was staying. So I presented to them and they were, they were inspired. Mm. A, they were inspired because they knew, and I had some research done about how important touch is into both prenatal and during labor and postnatal work right. with that touch. It empowered families to work with one another to do the touch. There was no levels of healers. They were inspired by the accessibility of BioTouch. That anybody could do it. There wasn't this huge price to have to stand in line or, or put yourself in hock in order right. to be able to learn it. And they were they loved the message that BioTouch addressed everyone in their fear oh. with love. Right. That's it. Well, when we say that we're all connected, the Dalai Lama said if you want to know about humanity look at the body so when the reason that biotouch because we always say something is going to happen and bodies get better we don't say minds get better or whatever or emotions get better although we have been told that oh my gosh i feel better emotionally right. mentally whatever because we're a holistic thing but that maybe that's the reason that biotouch is here for every one of us because we're not, we're not talking about one person's body. We're talking about bodies. Everyone, every member of humanity has BioTouch accessible to them. Yes. That, that's our job. Yes. We can, we can make that happen. Yes, everyone can come. And, and you know, we're going to show uh, Dr. Avila, dear friend of our certified practitioner. Well, we did an interview with him, and yeah. we'll be able to build on this, too, because he very clearly oh. spoke about BioTouch. So let's uh, show you uh, his uh, little talk that he gave, and it is right here, and Dr. Avila. And so here we go, just listen to him for a moment. Do you have a vision of how you want to use BioTouch? Well, I, I think, you know, I think one of the so where I'm moving into in my career right now is I'm, 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 I've been very, very moved in my own personal work, my own journey, uh, in looking at what my current patient population is presenting and teaching me. Um, I've, I've come to realize that probably greater than anything affecting health is the, the bioenergetics uh, that start with our thoughts because we know our thoughts are mm -hmm. energy uh, and and also you know the energy field that we are because in quantum physics we know that's what we are in the end we're we're everything we see as solid is really not solid it's just energy in a state of tremendous vibration that makes right. it appear solid so so anyway so with that in mind I think biotouch is an incredible uh, resource 
and I'll put it just simply like this because I'm sure the audience here knows what BioTouch can do and maybe some have experienced that already. But simply put, what I like about BioTouch as I was thinking about this question prior to this is it removes the confounding variable of thought in the healing process. <laughs> That's uh, a good one. <laughs> and, 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 the, and, and the reason it does that is you literally just touch because uh, other energy modalities talk a lot about the practitioner has to come in with focus and intention and this and that and the, and the person receiving has to be in a state of mind of this and that and I think that it makes it very complex and it, it starts to put the, the conscious mind in play which then can make a disaster of it all <laughs> you know in the end whereas with biotouch there isn't that with biotouch is just 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 touch and and the body that that innate wisdom that is there then knows how to take that energetic signal and do what it's got to do wow. regardless of whether you believe it or not it just does and that to me is the power of biotouch whether you whether you believe it or not i mean you know richard talked about it perfectly it's yeah. it's the the innate wisdom of the body to use that energy you know biotouch i think re listening to that i thought oh biotouch has the power to meet us individually where we are it asks nothing it just provides an opportunity to be in somewhere um, where we are present with our body. It, you know, it gives us that opportunity. It gives us an opportunity to just be, to be silent. Um, because of this innate wisdom, that's the working tool, right? right? So it doesn't really matter if you're jabbering away if you're totally quiet, if your mind is racing about what you're going to do after the session, the beauty of BioTouch is that we it provides a tool for the body itself to utilize um, in ways that it already knows how it's going to do. And this is why we say it's integrative and holistic. Because without us even thinking about it, it's going to do something yeah I mean I've always thought you know there is probably one of the best meditations out there I mean a lot of meditation is don't try to stop your thoughts that's just more conflict oh yeah don't try to control no. your thought that's more conflict just be with yourself right and bio touch is being with yourself as you're being with another I know. this relationship building it's meeting people face to face we're all living in fear. We all just want to love and be loved. And in that, healing happens. And they're actually finding out that, uh, you know, meditation actually, they're doing research with that uh, in, in healing work. So uh, disconnected, reconnecting. So let's see if we're okay. still going. <laughs> oh, boy. Hello, are we still on? Well, if not, we'll just keep recording because we'll post it. Okay, yeah. So it's it's perfect to do. We teach it. You have the ability to do it now. Placebo or not, you know, who gives a damn? It, it doesn't matter. <laughs> that's, our, that's our bottom line, isn't it? Right. It doesn't matter. Use it with whatever you're yeah. doing in the medical field. It just takes a few minutes a day if you're really doing a whole session you might spend 10 minutes 15 minutes with your loved one here's the ways to teach it uh, we have a class coming up uh, our next virtual training is this saturday uh, from 9 to 4 30 sign up it's a great little class if you're a massage therapist doula or nurse you can get eight ce credits we have a great workshop coming up with our author Deborah. Deborah, and she's going to talk about Hashimoto's disease. I guess there's an apostrophe S in there. Oh, and, I uh, think yeah. Hashimoto's. <laughs> I think that's okay. what I saw. 
So uh, we'll, we'll share the few sets of points to do for that disease if you have it. If you're interested, Deborah's had personal experience with it, so we'll get to hear from her. And uh, go to JustTouch.com, download the manual, the DVDs on there. It's a links to all the videos. It, we can't make it much simpler, folks. Right. We pretty much give this away. And uh, it's just something. That's our job. Yes. And your job is to bring it into your life because it's waiting for you. It's waiting. I like that. It's, it's waiting, waiting for, for you. you. And we're waiting for you to join us next Monday with Mondays with Bev and Paul. Yay. Thanks, dear. Thank good you. Good to see you again. And good to see all of you. Thanks for joining us. can feel the pain and sunshine or rain so it's not caused by the weather but it doesn't hurt that much after I feel your loving touch and we spend some time together Take my pain away Each and every day You're an angel from heaven On high Your butterfly touch Helps me heal so much And I get better as time Goes by Take my pain away 